Now in this video we are going to learn about the process in Linux operating system case. So basically in this video we are going to cover multiple things about the process. Uh, what is the process, what are the types of process, what is the PID and basically we will uh, surely learn about the basic concept of uh, PS command. Okay, We will just uh, take an overview but in detail we will make a separate video about this on PS command. Okay. So let's start with the process. If you are a CS student and if you are an operating system student also then I hope you are aware of process but if not then I am here for you guys. Okay, So let's start. So what is the process? So the basic and simple definition of process is execution of a program. Okay. So now what uh, uh, many of you will ask me what is the program set? So program is nothing but a uh, buddy like uh, whatever you write in cpp code or a python code or a java code that is a program and whenever you execute that program it becomes one of the process but uh, if you take a real life example of a process so here, here you will see many apps are there if i will open firefox that will become one of the process if i will open this thunderbird that will become one of the process if you will open files that will become one of the process okay so as for definition process nothing but execution of a program when you are executing any program then you are simply creating one process in your operating system okay now moving forward what is a PID so PID is nothing but uh, you can say it like as a process ID it is uh, created by the created by machine um, by Linux machine and which what it does which uniquely identifies the process suppose there are multiple processes going on in this Linux operating system so to identify each and every process there are a, a unique PID like if you are aware of the primary key of DBMS so it's similar like that it uniquely identify each and every process okay or if you you will get a real life example of account number so more than uh, one account number cannot be associated with the two different people okay so similarly PID also works like it uniquely identifies the particular process and also uh, in Linux there are basically the we learn about the two types of processes mainly that is uh, one is foreground okay and the second one is the background process so as the name suggests uh, you might have guessed like what is the foreground and what is the background so foreground means whatever the process which are run by the user so that is the foreground process if i will do here uh, uh, what i can do i can just do pwd this is one of the process if i will do who am i it is uh, sorry who am i it is one of the process so whatever the user is entering the command or opening any kind of X application or anything happening that is a pro example of the foreground process and now if you will talk about the background process then in this case uh, uh, what happens the operating system has multiple process which runs on the background as for example if you will take an example of the Microsoft Word MS Word so in this what happens whatever you write in a uh, like in a what we say in a word then if uh, any mistake happens spelling mistake then what happens in that case like uh, it displays as the yeah this is your spelling mistake it like so in red color so how how is it is it possible it's possible as the background process is running on to check the spelling mistake it might have might happen okay so this is the concept of the background process okay so in Linux, we basically we can also create the background poser using uh, I think some kind of ampersand. I think we use ampersand to use the background process. So yeah, here you can see the two one two five one zero uh, PID has been created for this uh, to create to do who am I as the background process. To stop this, you can hit just Control Z or Control C, Control C. Okay so if i will do fs command so it will display me the foreground process i think not fs i will need to like uh, install this command fs or fb it is i am not remembering it's like we will cover this all those command and all those things in our next video fp is there maybe no not it's not there fp is not there uh, let me remember the what is the concept or what are the command for the checking foreground process 
yeah so fj is the command to get the foreground process so here like no job is it is showing no job okay so if i will do bz so bz is also there is no background process going on as per this operating system so also we will uh, learn about the some of the command like in the next lecture that is the ps command that bit uh, which displays of the process state okay so right now it is displaying me the two uh, like what we say two processes so let us clear the screen and uh, surely we will learn in detail about what is the pid tty time cmd in our next lecture but let me just uh, show you the example of the foreground process so if i will open up this firefox right let me just uh, split the screen and i will just not firefox i will open this uh, let me open Firefox. So right now, currently it's showing me uh, like these processes, but for more you can check PS-E. Okay, so here you can see now Firefox is displaying here like 12.630. If I will close, okay, and again I will check whether it is displaying me or not. I will just check with the PS-E. Okay, so here you can see there is no Firefox, but when I will open up, so Firefox process will get added and it will display me the PID of that Firefox. So now again, I will just clear the screen and I will again, I will enter this PS hyphen. So here you can see like now different PID is being used for the Firefox. Now to stop this process, you can use kill command also. So kill command and the PID that is the one double three six five and now we're gonna done. So your Firefox is closed now. So that's all about uh, yeah, guys about the process. I hope you liked it particular video and surely in our next lecture we will get to learn about the foreground, how to get foreground, background and the PS command. Okay, so we will learn all about these three commands and the process states in our next lecture. So thank you guys for watching this particular video and I hope you liked it and if you have any query then you can ask us in the comment section. Thank you guys and we will meet you in the next one. Thank you.